Carolyn, recently we did a sermon series on the art of neighboring. And we challenged the congregation to take a bag of cookie mix home with them, stir up a batch of cookies, and then take the cookies to one of their neighbors that maybe they didn't know at all or not very well. And so you took that challenge on and you stirred up some cookies and took them to a neighbor. So I want to hear about that. Tell us. Okay. Um, well, when I got to the neighbor's house and rang the doorbell, a very frazzled grandmother opened the door. And she had three little children, ages three, two, and one. And she said she was babysitting for her daughter and her son-in-law. They were on a cruise. However, she had just gotten back from the emergency room where the middle aged little boy, had been running around the house, fell, split his head open, and had to have stitches. So then she said that the house was not cool. It was very hot because the air conditioner had gone out. So I said, well, I apologize that I have not been a good neighbor, but I wanted to bring these cookies over and please tell your daughter, you know, that I stopped by. And if you need any help, let me know. And so she said, okay. So I went home and I told Bob, my husband, about the air conditioner. So he went across the street then and helped them get the air conditioning started and waited till it was cooled, you know, more in the house. And of course, she was very thankful. And uh, when I walked back home, I thought, wow, it really does feel good to be a good neighbor. Well, thank you for taking that challenge on, and it sounds like it really came at just the right time for these friends next door, and I know that that meant so much to them that, that you went and did that and then went the extra mile with the air conditioning, so it's a great story, and we appreciate you taking that challenge seriously uh, to be a good neighbor.